Welcome to the ITU studio at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Mr. Ebrahim Al Haddad, who is director of the ITU Arab Regional Office. Ibrahim, welcome to the studio. Thanks very much, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that this, the theme for this year's uh, Plenipotentiary Conference is connecting the world together. And I wanted to ask, how has your region been making strides to get everyone connected over the last four years, since, since the last Plenipotentiary Conference? Okay, thanks very much, Max, for the question. Uh, before I go ahead with that, uh, if you allow me, I'd like to thank the government of the United Arab Emirates for hosting this such a, this a conference and the facilities that they have provided. Having said that, the uh, membership in the, in the region have been working closely, particularly since, as you have said, the, the, the conference that we had uh, from Busan in 2014, followed by other conferences that we've had in between, the radio conference, the WTCA, the uh, WTDC, and so on. So all these conferences provide us a platform and guidelines for what we need to do. Under the uh, umbrella of the League of Arab States, where we also work with the 22 Arab countries in that region, there have been very close collaboration and uh, assistance provided for the member states in that area. We've been assisting uh, countries with regulatory issues. We've been assisting countries with capacity building on the ground. And there has been a very good collaboration amongst the countries, exchanging ideas, exchanging experiences, and providing platforms for, for such things. Uh, we've been assisting countries also on developing strategies. Okay, Strategies, that one important uh, aspect of which is the uh, connectivity of people with disabilities. We've been working with countries on how to develop strategies for access for this, uh, for this uh, group of people. We also talk about rural communications and accessibility of people on those areas. So we're working with some also other UN agencies and providing policies on how to integrate communities in the, uh, in the rural areas in, this, uh, in, the, in the field of the communications and also provide them, uh, uh, as I say, an input into the economy of the, of the country and they'll be part of the economy of those countries. So indeed they have long, long plans and we have also, as you might uh, recall, the uh, Buenos Aires uh, Development Conference that we had where we had come up with with five uh, regional initiatives, and these initiatives are being implemented with partnerships. I mean, you've been pretty busy, I think, in, in, in the region. It's hosted more than its fair share of, of events. I know that the, there's, there's one planned for, for next year as well, quite a, a large one in ITU's calendar. I just wanted to ask you, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about ITU's plans uh, for uh, the, the next years uh, in, in your region. You mentioned the uh, forthcoming uh, event, which is the radio conference, which is going to be held in Sharm el Sheikh 2019, and that's a big, a big event. Uh, the region has uh, accommodated and had hosted many, many, many events. Uh, from the uh, plenipotentiary itself, we have got some resolutions uh, on how to represent the ITU as a whole and play a part in the activities of the whole of the Union in the, on the ground. We have other resolutions uh, coming out from, as I said, from the World Telecommunication Development Conference, from the uh, WTSA, etc. These are, we need to be implemented on the ground. Uh, we have a, a plan that will uh, encompass all the activities of the ITU, General Secretariat, and the three sectors and implement that on the ground with partnership from with other states, other, other uh, stakeholders. Now we also have conferences coming up to meet the requirements of the, uh, of the, of, of the uh, regional initiatives, which is a main push, which have been really uh, the cornerstone of our, our, our activities here. Uh, we're very glad f with the uh, collaboration of many of the member states in supporting the implementation of these regional initiatives. We've had very good success uh, agreements, successful agreements being concluded very recently. And uh, we can see that's happening on the, on the ground. So the plan is being put to the membership uh, on an annual basis for it to be agreed and some amendments and changes are made to that, to that plan to meet the uh, requirements of that. We must not forget also the requirement for the least developed countries that where we have a special program for those. And of course the uh, girls and the women in ICT which, which plays a very major role, including as well the digital financial inclusion that we are working on. Uh, in fact, uh, Egypt is one of the 
countries, the three beneficiary countries, uh, along with Mexico and, uh, and China, for the partnership that we have with the World Bank and the Bill and, Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation. In terms of uh, the conversations you've been having here, I'm sure a lot of you've been uh, um, speaking to a lot of participants here, but I wanted to ask you, perhaps you might have a message uh, to, both to participants here through this channel, but also to our wider audience as well. Uh, the ITO itself needs to be uh, seen, and it is in fact, but we need to be seen as touching the lives of people. Okay? And we can only do that through the collaboration of our membership, both the stakeholders, the member states, and all the academias that, and the small and medium uh, enterprises that we are uh, engaging with. So what we are uh, looking at is to work with our membership as a whole and other stakeholders like other UN agencies to ensure that the benefits of the ICTs touch the lives of people and that they can feel that we are really impacting how they live. We also have, you know, we also have the SDGs, okay? and this is quite important. The ICTs plays a cross-cutting role in them. We, are, we have issues relating to e-agriculture and how to reach that, poverty, the health. So all, all these uh, development goals, the sustainable development goals, are important to be uh, deployed using the ICTs. So the role of ITU is a cross-cutting role, and we like to thank in advance all our membership in assisting us to touch people's lives. Ibrahim Al-Haddad, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Banks. Thank you.